Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Sorry for my appearance, I just wanted to get this video quickly filmed because a lot of the goodies in this Timu haul are actually for my friend who's moving to Korea um, and she's coming around to collect them so I wanted to just show you some items that you could potentially get off Timu. Like I said, these are not for me. A couple of the other things I wish I'm going to show you but I just wanted to film this super super quick for you um and yeah another random thing i noticed was it didn't come in a teamu bag this time it came in a white bag so i wasn't actually sure that this was the teamu package until i opened it because normally if you see my other hauls you'll see they come in bright orange bags with the word teamu on it so it's obvious that it's a teamu haul um if you have not seen any of my videos about teamu before teamu is an online marketplace where you can literally buy anything and everything that you can imagine and even things that you couldn't imagine the amount of stuff like i was searching for weird stuff it is bizarre some of the stuff but also really practical i've got some amazing 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 things go and check out my other videos if you haven't already seen them i will leave timu linked down below so you can click the link go and check it out it's kind of like amazon marketplace where you can like you know i always search on amazon for absolutely anything it's the same as that but with super super low prices like aliexpress Shein wish kind of prices it's amazing i just do all my shopping then out like that's just it um so let me dive right in and show you some of the things that she's got so she picked up these travel pouches so these are to go in her suitcase for when she travels there are eight in here i believe i will leave these linked down below because i'm not going to be able to get them out and test them because like i said you say hi hi, hi. there's a mouthful of cake go on finish cake go on eat in the kitchen um, because these are for her, but I will, these do come in numerous different colours. There are eight. I do think I'll be able to get a couple out without it disrupting her travel plans. So basically, they are these rectangles. Oh, they're all packed inside one. That's clever. So this is the biggest size, and they all fit like nicely inside your suitcase to make it easier for you to travel. To be fair, she didn't choose this colour, um, but she wanted them quick, and this was the colour that was available so there's some laundry pouches super cute another laundry pouch um and then these are the travel cubes so they will make packing a lot lot easier like i said i will leave it linked down below okay. so you can look at the images and i have seen these in quite a lot of other youtubers hauls from timu uh, which is why i recommended her to get them from timu because they did look really really good i raved about my hair roller which you would have seen i think in like one of my very very first team hauls if not my actual first and she got it in this lilac color and um it'll just come in super handy while she's in korea also if she's on the plane all that good stuff heatless curls are just obviously really good anyway for not damaging the hair um so talk to you to get one of these um, another thing which is just like a travel essential is a suitcase strap so we chose this lime green one as she got like a basic coloured suitcase and she wanted it to stand out so that obviously somebody didn't take her suitcase obviously so she could spot it on the conveyor belt all that good stuff don't mind that Snowy's being a little pickle um, so just this lime green one again I'll leave it linked down below so you can see a picture we chose to go with one strap to go around the width of the suitcase rather than like a few to go around just needed the one now moving on to some items that I got. Um, so these are a few little things for her to take traveling with her. So inexpensive. So I got a little travel stick bag, you know, just in case on the plane. Um, some anti-sickness, it says paste, but it's like a little sticker and I'm actually gonna open this packet, put a couple in for her because she does get travel sick on the plane and I'm gonna keep these for in the car because I get terrible motion sickness the last few years it's like a new thing i'm not sure what it is or why but i'm going to stick a couple in for her travels on the plane and then i'm going to pop these in the car for me it's like a little patch and you just stick it behind your ear it says you can use it like while on a boat so like seasickness airplane sickness and car sickness so i just wanted to test these out because they were so inexpensive that it's just worth a try for me at this point this is super super cute it is like a little teddy dispenser and inside is loads of little rounds they look kind of like confetti but they are paper soap so if she's somewhere where she's just got water or like a bottle of water or anywhere or somewhere where you try to use the hand soap and it's run out anything like that you just take one of these paper soaps out use any kind of water so if you like camping you would use like a bottle of water or anything like that rub the paper in the paper dissolves turns into soap and again so inexpensive i think it was like a matter of pence so I thought that was super cute and it just had a little bear on but there's loads of different designs if you didn't want like a cute one there was just more like grown-up ones etc 
very cute very cute sorry if i'm rushing i am trying to get through this very fast oh these i thought were really cute they're little portable cups again if you're camping so i might pick some up for us you know because we go camping all the time <laughs> we never go camping looks next to me like what so they look like this they just fit in like your bag or whatever and i don't actually know how you use it so let's test it out together okay you open it oh my god and that's it that's your cup so you would drink and then you would i assume and then you just put the lid back on portable that saves loads of space and it came in a pack of two very cute might actually keep one of them and just give her one because that they're good aren't they even like going to the park and things you can just be like cup put it away cup put it away very good i haven't really even seen these before they probably exist but i've not really looked but i travel i've traveled i wrote in travel essentials and that is what i saw um okay i got these as well because i've got some of these myself oh my god why have i never thought to use these in the car auntie nausea bands I should put them in the car. I got some of these when I was pregnant and they're just anti-nausea wrist straps. And you put it like on a pressure point, it's meant to stop the morning sickness, all that good stuff. But you can also use it for any kind of sickness, oh, travel sickness. Oh. <laughs> is that book? Go in the garden then, it's all right. Um, travel sickness, car sickness, airplane, sea sickness, motion sickness. I think they're all the same thing, um, as well as morning sickness so i got her some of these when she's flying but also like i've just suddenly realized because i'm gonna use these in the car i could grab mine out and put them in the car but yeah you killed it yeah it's such a hot day well actually the whole week there's just been bugs flies in the house it's disgusting but i want the back doors open because it's boiling but the wasps are getting us and the flies are getting us but yeah super inexpensive again these were pence um, a little pack of just, it says they're newborn baby care wet tissues, but they are like tinier than, let me grab my baby wipes to show you a size comparison. So this is just a pack of wipes and this is how small they are. So they are definitely not the size of a baby wipe, but these will be super like easy to just shove in her hand luggage. Just a little cute thing. And again, pence. Um, and what else? Oh, this is kind of just like a going away gift. It's a little pouch which I'm gonna have like put together. And it comes with this pouch and it says, my little bag of sweary affirmations. And again, on the other side. So it's kind of like affirmations, but they're like a little bit funny. Let's have a little look what some of them say. No, am I allowed to swear on YouTube? I'll just put them on the screen. You can read them yourself. Um, I am my own best friend. Other people are total D's. Put your own, put on your favorite song and dance your ass off. Do one thing every day that makes you feel effing fabulous. So yeah, so they're all like affirmations, but they're just a little bit like sweary, but I thought that was cute. Um, so they just go in this little bag like this. And then you just pull the drawstring and I thought that was a nice little going away present for her. I just couldn't get her much because she is moving to Korea and she's trying to get rid of everything. So I was like, I don't want to get her like a big gift, like, because she's trying, she's literally giving me stuff. She's giving me bags of stuff so she can move to Korea. Uh, so yeah, I just got her these few little things she put in her hand luggage. Oh, baby. To hopefully make her travel experience a little bit more enjoyable for her. And then the actual reason I've <laughs> That the actual reason I filmed this video was because I received these two items the other day and I couldn't dedicate a video just to these two items but I am so excited to show you. I got two hoovers from Timu Hoovers. So I will be honest, they probably do look a little bit dirty. So I've got the small nozzles in at the minute. So this is numero uno. Woo, Winnie, you escaping? Here you going? Whee! And this, which I, te I actually prefer, is numero dos. They are for my friend. I'll let you look at them in a minute. These are the two hoovers. I have got the small nozzles in and they have been used um, because I will insert footage for you to see, but I'll do that in a second. Um, they come, let me show you the boxes. So there is this one, which is a wireless vacuum cleaner, KC VC96, whatever that means. Daddy's gone up to bed. Um, so it comes with the long nozzles as well, so they're both kind of in the same box at this point. So you can add like the long nozzles and have it as like a 
so you can attach the long nozzles and have it like this um again there's that for both of them i kind of shoved everything into one box at the minute um and again with this one so you get both the long bits for them both so i have been testing them out all week um and then you also get um extra like filters you get obviously like you can see you get the short ends so they are my favorite because they are so small and so powerful i've been doing all around my sofas all in the corners of places places that i've never been able to hoover like under my couch where i can't actually fit my hoover under my fridge um this one is good because it's like this way and then this one is like that way I mean, obviously you could turn it around, but I just prefer it like the way this slant is. So I've been using them both for different things. They're both rechargeable. Oh wait, I never showed you the other box. So this is the other one. So this is the one that I personally prefer, but I think it's more an aesthetic thing. I like the color and the way it looks. Again, wireless vacuum cleaner. Um, and from just me testing them out for the past like week and a half, um, I've been using them every day. I've got my Jerry, if you're not watching me the video, that's what I call my robot vacuum. Got two of them in the hallway and the downstairs kitchen because he's much better on hard floors. Have him going in there. I've only been using these two in here. I haven't even been using the Dyson. I've just been using that every day around the skating boards, around the edge of the couch legs, in the door frames. I've been using it everywhere. I've been using it everywhere. And it, the power on it is amazing. It lasts so long, I'd say like a good hour. I mean, I don't know, I haven't actually timed it. I should probably do that and it's just really really good so to quickly so i will quickly insert some footage here of me using them right guys we're going to test out this hoover today as you can see it's full at the minute because i've used it low so i'm going around seeing what i can find so the kids have been in and out of the garden so there's lots of hello testing out the hoover lots of rubble here so let's go on let's go turn this one on watch this that piece oh hang on it's hard to do while I'm looking through the screen. I can't tell where the heck I'm pointing it. Some here, look, ready? Whoop, gone, whoop, gone. Hang on, I wasn't even showing the nozzle. Right, this piece here, ready? Gone. Gone, gone, gone. Gone. Oh, where's another piece? I need to look in real life, not through the screen. Whoop, whoop, whoop. But yeah, you can see how quickly it hoovers up. Right, let's go find some more mess. Right, I'm back with this one, so let's see. God. And I like this one because it's like the perfect shape to just go up and down on the sofa and stuff. Have we got anything down here? Oh, piece there, you ready? Gone. So yeah, just wanted to show you the suction, how it works. Here we've got some fluff here. Gone. You want to do it? Go on then, as you show them how the hoover goes. But yeah, so both of them are super awesome. As you can see, this is what it looks like when it gets full. Hang on, can you see that? Um, it's super easy to empty. Is that blurry? Hang on, I can't hear you. As you turn that off a minute, babe. Um, super easy to empty. You just twist this cap off. And the same with this one, take the filter out and just dump it into the trash, they can't hear me! Oh, hey guys, get this piece! Winnie managed to get bread everywhere. Go on then, show them how it all good sucks. Turn it on! <laughs> Click it! Good girl. Yay! Amazing, amazing. I love these little nozzles because you can get in all the little places like down here. But yeah. yeah. Which one's your favourite, Azzy? Um, that one and that one. You like both of them? Which is your favourite one? Both of them. Oh, all right. But yeah, these both work just as good as each other. I like the little nozzles the best. Um, Can I even try to Yeah, of course. Don't turn them on just yet. Let me finish this talking to them. So yeah, the um, other attachments uh, are just the same. I was just kind of showing you the sucking power. Um, it just happens that these are my favourites to just whiz around and get all the little bits like you would have seen like on the ah. sofa and all of that good stuff. And also, even with the um, handles, with the like proper hoover base, you can take out one of the pipes and then it's a perfect kid size so instead of getting them one of the toy hoovers which i got them in the past i've been letting them have these with like perfect like little kid size hoovers and they've been going around should we show them how you use it as a hoover yeah. right let's do that then 
So as you can see, it is the perfect child size hoover with only one of them in. I put two in this one just to give you a size comparison. It is a bit big for Winnie at the minute. But when you've only got one in, Winnie wanted to model this one for you. That's a bit big, isn't it, Win? But yeah, so perfect child size. As you do it to demonstrate, um, and Nikki go around the house hoovering, but we'll be honest, we do prefer the little nozzles. Um, but it is super cute, and for the price, I can't really fault it at all. Unboxing some bonus content for you guys. A couple of packages have arrived this morning. And I noticed the last couple of packages have come in white. So this is my third... No, second and third package that are coming white. So I know what these are because I knew what I was expecting. Um, and guys, I am deceased. Guys, I am deceased. I kind of opened it because I was like, surely not. So I'm going to show you the picture first. And it's my fault because I'm such an idiot. But this is what I got. It is a 38 in 1 survival and first aid kit. Professional survivor gear. SOS emergency tool for camping. Good girl. Um, and just me being an idiot, because I've just scrolled through now, I thought that that looks like a big backpack with all this stuff in, right? Silly me. Didn't go through and look at the measurements. 20 centimetres, so it is correct. It's just I am a moron and thought it was huge. Oh! Right, we have a little audience. Snow Azzy. What? Good. We have a little audience. We've got Snow Azzy and Winter and Luke's just come in the room. I've just showed Luke the size of this backpack and we just laughed our heads off because we always make this joke that everything on Timu is tiny. But to be fair, this was completely my fault for not looking at the size because it did say it. So here is the first item. My miniature backpack. And to be fair, I'm going to put this away for Kian for Christmas. So let's hope that he doesn't come in the room now. So I'm going to go pop this away. Um, it's still extremely cute. It is not actually a backpack, um, but you can attach it to a backpack. So that's good because I was, because obviously you're not going to want it to be a backpack when it's that small, are you? Um, but you can put it through. If I can open these, so these are like press studs, and you can have it like a belt. Then there's also these like hooks, so you can clip it to. Then there's this strap here, which is adjustable, so you can attach it to something like with that and then also super random which i just noticed is this tab here which is velcro and i was thinking where's that go to and then i noticed that this is velcro and then i've just noticed that these are in fact velcro so you don't even have to have them on which is super random but you can obviously have them on but then if you wanted to stick i don't know like a raincoat or something through this loop here is that not oh no no they wouldn't stick together they're both the same side of velcro so no i take that back I don't know where the other side of Velcro is, maybe something inside, but yeah. So these sticker things are Velcroed on, so that's super random. Don't mind Luke, just putting on his blender. And then these have all got holes, so I guess you could put something through all of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seven, twelve. Right, we're gonna have a quick look inside. Oh, there's Velcro. See, I'm just figuring this out. Okay, what the heck? So the whole back comes off. All right, okay, got you. So, the whole back comes off if you don't want to attach it with any of them and you can in fact loop that round and have it like that oh and you can have that on as well hang on then right i don't know so many different things to do with just the packaging and i think there's no reason for me to go through them all in such detail like i have however Handy to know all of that stuff. Right, so let's pop it there. I think you guys can see that. Let's have a little look inside. Oh, now I need to open that. All right, I'm not going to get everything out because I do want it all to fit in nicely. But to start with, we have a first aid kit. Very nice. So in here, lots of good stuff. Tweezers, scissors, bandages, uh, Q-tips. Hang on, you can't see. Sorry, triangular bandage. There's the Q-tips. Don't know if you saw it. Bandages, wound pads lots of different stuff like a standard first aid kit yes snowy you can in a moment so there it is okay okay so inside is another pocket with a zip so you can put more stuff in there very good okay so what have we got an emergency blanket some rope that you know like for if you're doing like survival stuff um a compass watch thing i think it's a watch where it like you can either attach it to something else or around your wrist. I think that. Is it going to focus? Focus. It's like a little blade thing. Then this. 
I don't know. Do you know what, guys? I don't know. But again, this is attached to something else. Don't know what this is either. Guys, I ain't got a clue. If you guys know what any of this stuff is, I'll have a good look. But basically, it's just like a survival backpack. Is it going to focus? There we go. Um, whatever this is. Some of these like little clippy things. A proper big compass again with like an attachment. My camera sucks at focusing. Come on, focus faster. Um, with like an attachment at the top to touch it. Um, no idea what that is, but one of them. A pen with like ice breaking stuff things on the ends. Um, I think it, I just say ice breaking, like you know that thing that you can like break glass with. Um, one of these little things, like this is a multi-purpose tool, so it tells you all the stuff on this card. Oh my lord, half the video is just going to be me trying to focus things. There we go, and then this is the tool itself, and it fits nicely in this little wallet. And then a torch, no batteries in that, and then a waterproof poncho, and then yes, I've got to try and get it all back in nicely. But yeah, that's very cool, and to be fair, it, the bag doesn't need to be any bigger because it fits everything in lovely, and then if you go in like on an adventure, you can um, just take this with you and you've got all like your emergency little gear. So very cute, very nice, and I, yeah, I actually do really like that and I actually like the fact that it isn't big because if it was big and it took up the whole backpack, you wouldn't be able to fit anything else. So this can go in your backpack if you're going on an adventure. So very good, very good. Right, the next item we got is this baby monitor. So I'm super excited about this because it is in the shape of a robot. And Winnie needs a new monitor. He's had two in the past, neither of them are working, and he needed a good one. And then I thought this would be good because you could just put it on the shelf and it looks like a little toy. Are you ready to see this, Luke? Ready? Whoa. <laughs> Let's peel this off his little head. And it's got a memory card thing. This, look, that's it. Oh, look, look, look. Ready, guys? There's the camera. Hang on, it's not focusing. Yes, no. Ready? So his little helmet. And then you lift it up and there's the camera. Very good. And by the looks of it, there's like a sound thing here. And um, the charging port on the top of his head is like where you could put like a memory card, I'm guessing. Um, from the reviews, it looks really good. There's like a QR code. So I'm guessing that's where I scan to get the app. We've got a charger in here. Yes, indeed, we do. Again, though, like I said, most things on Team they do not come with a plug. Most things these days don't anyway, so we'll have to find a plug to fit the USB. But yes, and then the instructions and a reset pin. So daddy can have a go at that. But just looking at the instructions, it does look really good. Not the instructions, sorry, the reviews. So this is our little robot baby monitor. And I'm sure in like a vlog, I will update you guys on how this little guy is getting on. But I like that because it mostly it looks like a little toy. And you can have it on the shelf and it won't cause like too much of fish. But yeah, very nice, very nice. I'm going to hand that over to Daddy and the kids to have a little look at. Why is it in the way? <laughs> I'm not, I'm getting it up here. Right, and these two items are rugs. So we're going to be testing out some Timu rugs. So as you can see here, this is the rug we currently have. This is not very suitable for children because it is so deep. Like, it's called like a shag fur, isn't it? And it's like so deep and shaggy that I can't get the crumbs, like even doing this look, crumbs popping everywhere, the hoover doesn't go over it, none of that, so I've got some thinner rugs, one for here and then one for the other side of the living room as a runner, so let's just see the quality, and these are supposed to be washable as well, so perfect, and I didn't want anything that was thick, I wanted to be able to run the hoover over it, nice, okay, so I'll show you the first one, Wow, okay. As if I got these off Timo, what the heck? Let's see what the quality is like. Might have to like let it lie down for a while to get the kinks out of it. Are you ready, Daddy? Oh, and this is the colour, by the way. We went for just a plain grey, and it's got this non-slip on the bottom. So I will pull this up in a minute. I'm oh, sorry, you can't even see. Pull this up in a minute and hoover it all, but just for the effect of you guys seeing how big it is. This is perfect size, Luke. Oh my god, I was worried this would be too small. <coughs> is that a robot? It's a camera robot. There we go, guys. This is going to be perfect for the living area. 
so it's nice and thin which is going to be perfect and the actual carpets are grey but I do like to have a rug down um, you know because of the kids so I don't want to like ruin the carpet we've got so from just first impressions this looks really nice like I said I might have to leave it out I might have to leave it out to get rid of the uh, lines but that's perfect and that's the first rug we've just plugged in the little guy here and he's moving, he's beeping, all that good stuff. Obviously it's gonna go in Winnie's room, so like the wire and that will be like on a shelf. I don't know if you need him plugged in or charged, but probably leave him permanently plugged in, you know, so he doesn't die. Um, he's beeping at us, his head's moving, and Daddy's just gone to get the Wi-Fi password. So while he's gone to do that, let me show you. Oop, my legs. Wait a second, how was it before? Down here. Show you this rug quickly. So this is going to be the runner to go from the back door to the hallway across the living room. Again, the one we've got is like a shag fur. So I chose another grey because like I said, the living room carpet is grey so I wanted it to fit in. And it is this kind of design. It's meant to be long so I don't know if I'm going to show it you the whole thing. So this is like, oh my gosh, very long. Um, if I double it up lot, you can see. So this is the underneath. Again, it's got this kind of like grippiness on it nice and thin again and it's just this really soft material one second and then this is the pattern on it in these few different gray colors and again just going to leave this out today going to go clean the carpet put this down and let all of these like lines come out but yes very impressed very impressed <laughs> very impressed with the rugs from timu and i like the fact of how thin they are but they feel so soft like a carpet um and perfect for protecting the carpet that we've got so right guys that is everything in this video i'm sorry that it's been super rushed and i've been like blah 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 blah, blah. um but yes it is kind of bedtime my friend is coming straight after i put them to bed i look like an absolute bocker sorry about that and the glare and all that and just sorry, just sorry, but I wanted to get this video out just to show you some things that you can get because I thought this would be interesting because it's not my usual haul. This is like travel essentials and the hoovers. People are going to be wondering about the hoovers from Timu. So yeah, obviously not as like heavy duty. I should have probably said that as like a Dyson, but so portable, so like rechargeable, all that good stuff. My little girl is shouting me, can you hear her? Snowy, say hi to YouTube. <laughs> All right, one second, then let me say bye. <laughs> so I'm going to go um, get them to bed so I can give these to my friends Mom. and everything. <laughs> oh, as he wants to say bye, come here then. Right, let's say bye, everyone. So bye. remember, guys, check out the link down below to Timu. You will not regret it. Anything you can think of is down there. Say, click the link to Timu. Say, click Timu. Click Timu. Oh, we need to come to say bye. So remember, guys, to subscribe. Say subscribe. Come here, you. Oh. Say subscribe. We did it on that. Are you gonna say subscribe? Subscribe. Press the thumbs up, and we'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace. <laughs> Bye. Peace.